know I was supposed to read, but uh, I'm reading from this book called Study. This is a collection of all the poems I wrote in art. Because I'm a visual artist, I do visual art, and I write, and this is like a kind of like in between stuff. <laughs> um, so I read, uh, this book has two parts. One part is a, part one is a poem cycle, longer you know, cycle. And the, the part two is a miscellaneous poetry. So I'm reading from the poem cycle for Master Deshan. Four for Master Deshan. Master Deshan. He was a dandy. He was a cigar smoking gentleman. That's one poem. Master Deshan. <laughs> he was a dandy. He was a cigar smoking gentleman. The champion reconstruction of my personality. Learn to be idle and not to feel guilty about it. The champion reconstruction of my personality. Learn to be idle and not to feel guilty about it. You know, he played chess and he turned around. He didn't really work. He lived life and he talked about it. He wanted to breathe more than work. My guest of Marsha Disham, favorite word. Fine, bon. My guest of Marsha Disham, favorite word. Fine. Some practical lessons to learn to be a granddaughter of Marsha Disham. Speak less or talk less to say more. Or talk less to say less. <laughs> Let the rest rest. <laughs> be a bird. Be idle and be guiltless. Be idle and be joyful. Be idle and be good. Be idle. Be free. Be free and be nothing. Be nothing. It's not important to be nothing. Take a walk or stroll. Run if you like. That's for the shaman. <laughs> okay, man. You know Robert Frank, the photographer, who, Swiss photographer. Mm. He's uh, he lived in America. He was a friend mm. of Kerouac and did, uh, the Americans, one of the most important photographic journey. And he's just over ninety something. They just made a film, documentary film, on Robert Frank. One of our best friends she produced. She's very young, but great producer. Anyway, so I'm reading some poems from 10 poems for the Americans. I wrote these poems for his photography, uh, uh, photograph photos from Americans. So let's see. New York City. The title of the poem is the title of his book. New York City. A man is a woman and a woman is a man. Only when you hide your face, the word reveals itself clearly to you. Human hip bones, harder than those iron fences, wind swifter, wiser, and faster than fish bones do. Troubles, trunks, tricks, a woman is a man, a man is a woman, feet are mine, and eyes are feet. Where is today's church? Trolley, New Orleans. That's the cover of Americans. It's a beautiful photo. Trolley, New Orleans. It is me who is looking out at the passing world in a light breeze, uttering no words to no one. Letting myself rest on an old 
wooden bench of an old trolley in an old city where life and death crumbled together in a dark, dense humidity. I am an old woman. I am a young girl. I am an old man. I am a young boy. I am white. I am black. I am rich. I am poor. Like framed pictures of the incarnated multiple lives I have lived, liquefied memories of my story merge into one another as the old railings sing an unforgettable melody of their own history. Rooming House, Bunker Hill, Los Angeles. It is a play. I am an actor. I am on a stage. I am costumed as directed in a dark suit with a hat and a cane. I say nothing, hiding partially under the weathered wooden staircase. A curtain is up with the late afternoon air as its only audience. A room is free and empty. The season is unknown. I stay motionless till the airflow changes to shift the angle of light darkness of the day. One more. <laughs> View from hotel window, Butte, Montana. That's a coal mining area. View from hotel window, Butte, Montana. I was there once, I was here once. Who was I with? I have no recollection. But I remember how my heart ached when I saw the devastation of human lives and its resulting landscape outside my hotel window. Was I with a man? Or was I with a woman? Was I with a friend? Or was I with a lover? I have no memory. But I can never forget the way my soul trembled when I breathed in the gray silence of the flat roofs and crawl, clumsy, clumsy, insignificant chimneys. I don't remember what day it was, but I remember that I was shattered totally by the fragile beauty of the fluttering curtains that divided my room from the view outside. People live here. I remember muttering to the one next to me. I don't remember who it was, but I remember we were once definitely here together. Thank you.